So a mountain to climb in the second half for Paul Boys High. But certainly they've shown the intent with two tries of their own. But now Gray get things underway in the second half with a handy lead, but an early error by Yevier Fulyun. And Paul Boys will have a scrum at the center spot. Early error there of the kickoff from Yevier Fulyun going direct into touch. But this mutual and federal premier to schools derby living up to its reputation. Great running rugby from both sides. And both sides are backing themselves. They both want to win. Gee, it has been entertaining. There's been no shortage of the ball going through the hands. But Paul need an early score in the second half. They trail by 15. Devet. That's an awkward pass already. Here comes Dante van der Merwe on the inside. Taking a little static. They get an early penalty and they need those points. Don't do anything foolish here. The three is an option. Take it if possible. You felt they had to be the first side to score in the second half. Good crash ball there. But unfortunately, the great college boy not releasing, coming through from the side. Pen penalty for Paul Boys, and hopefully they'll be able to get their, the, the scoreboard ticking over again. So straight down the center of the field, but from some distance, just five meters inside gray territory. Brilliant, he is kicking into a slight breeze. So it is a pretty tricky kick for the youngster. He hasn't got a long approach. It's all about the timing. The crowd goes amazingly quiet here at moments like these. He's got the distance and the direction. That was vitally important that Paul Boys were first on the board in the second half. Well, great sportsmanship by the crowd there. You could almost hear a pin drop when Stephen Ghost was going for his penalty kick there, but he struck it really well and going straight through the poles against a stiff breeze. Fulyun goes deep. Devet. His pass loops a little, and it's shoveled away into touch. Not pretty, but effective from Dante van der Merwe. I'm sure his dad will be a real proud man, Ruan van der Merwe, who's the next great college boy. We're really proud of his son out there on the field. Vipplinger. The new option of Kasper Ferry. Nicely won. Sander. Vessels looking for runners. Rotenbach. The switch. Here's Fulion. This time he goes to the boot. It's nicely placed and nicely weighted. Furlan verse the left wing of uh, Palm Boys I was really just hoping that would dribble into touch. He didn't want to have to put a hand on it. Well, it looks almost like a tactic from, from both sides. They, they're probing the blind side quite a bit. And E.W. Fluen there using a great weighted grubber kick. Nicely won by Matthew LaRue. Scrambled into touch once more, so the pressure not really relieved. What will Gray do now? Will they set up a driving mall or will they play off the top again with that jumper right at the back of the lineouts to unleash their elusive backs? So, in good accuracy, has Wipplinger. Skew. Commentators curse. That always happens. There's this part of the seven and a half thousand that have come in to watch this mutual and federal Premier Inter Schools derby. It's such a major fixture in the school's rugby calendar. Great college up against Paul Boys High, always in the upper reaches of the school's rugby rankings. Let's go. Tivet. Spins to close. Loops it back to Van der Merwe. Now who has it and starts to run. 
cuts in field, still going, steps vessels. This is a lovely run from Van der Moe, up to the 10, still going, gets it away to Van Veik, still going, the little chip down field. But that was wonderful enterprise by Paul Boys High from their own line. And the man at the four was Dante van der Merwe. Well, Paul running from deep inside their 22, backing themselves. Dante van der Merwe showing some good footwork there. Sidestepping, offloading, doing really well. But I'll tell you one thing, if you, if you play from your 22, you need to have confidence, There's you need play. to back yourself. And this is typical derby rugby at the moment. There's a yeah. late hit ruled on Keenan van Veik. So a chance again for Great College to reduce, I beg your pardon, Paul Boys High to reduce the deficit through the boot of Stier van Goos. Pressure evident on the faces of that Paul Boys High bench. From Angle. His last strike was a very clean and secure one. Struck it well. Flags go up. Paul Boy's edge close up. Well, Brett, they're just keeping that scoreboard ticking over and they're keeping in touch with, with Great College at the moment. But a fantastic strike there for Stephen Close going straight through the posts. It's just the start they needed. Six points at a point a minute in the second half. Fulion again goes deep. Van der Merwe this time decides to elect the sanctuary of the far touchline. And he shows he can kick as well as run. Dante Van der Merwe has had a solid start to the second half. Had some elusive runs and finding a great touch finder there with his right boot. Gray now, down to low. Here they come again through vessels. Nice clean out. Sander goes to the boot, goes straight to Dante van der Merwe. Off he goes. Grain tries to loop one over the top. He's done well to fill in verse. The youngster's got speed, but no support. He's looking for it and slow and coming, but he still goes. Backs himself, another step. Can he go all the way? No, he's caught five meters short. Wonderful run by Verse. Now they go right. Can they get in at the corner? There's the step. Held up just short. Patience required. The reach and go. Yeah. Try given. Yeah. Paul Boy's edge ever closer with their third try. And it's Hein Kritzinger who's got in for a try. And what a start to the second half by the visitors. Well, it was great patience showed by Paul Boys. Great hit up by, by the big lock forward, Matthew LaRue. But then his partner in crime, Hein Kritzinger, going over and reaching over for a great pick and go try, showing some great strength. It all started from a poor kick downfield by the scrum off that gave Dante van der Merwe space and a chance to pick his option. And Ferlin Verse, the left wing, very elusive, set up the play. And my word, what a start to the second half by Paul Boys High. Four points the margin, could be two in a moment. Well, rugby is definitely a game of two halves. It's unbelievable what's happening out here. Close. Picks up the tee straight away. The flags go up. 27-25, having led 27-12 at the break. This is anybody's game. Well, it all started from that galloping run by their left winger, Ferlin first. But Paul Boys High showing some great patience, eventually going over for the pick and go try. Fulion this time elects not to go deep, tries to keep it for his forwards to have a chance. Claimed by De Toy, the number eight. He drives on. De Vett. They will run. Crunching it up is Derek Marais. Little space for Verse again. He's shown his speed. He likes to cut in field, perhaps a little bit too soon. He's a small man and he's driven back. Great college. Need to slow the game down, try and get their hands on the pill. Because it's Paul Boys High playing with all the confidence now exhibited by the home side in the first quarter. Devet. Away to Boshoff. 
the stepping of Dante van der Merwe. Big hit back to Boschoff, but the pass was forward. And Gray have now a chance to at least keep some possession for some time. Jeez, that was a bone-crunching tackle there by Kasper Ferri, the replacement for Gray, forcing the, the error there from the Paul Boys Harbour. Gray scrum. Immediate pressure from Jonas, but still it falls for Gray and they come away, but he was offside. Was, uh, slipping the bind and the offender, the try scorer, Charlton Jonas. So a chance for Gray to get their first points of the second half. Well, 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 it almost seems like Gray's turned off the lights at the beginning of the second half. It's just Paul Boy's high at the moment. Look, his shoulders aren't bound, so that ball is out. But the, the marginal call, if one can call it that, has gone the way of the home side. The, both kickers have got excellent records. Five out of six, you see, for Steven Rodenbach. Four out of five for Stefan Goos. I need this just to calm fraying nerves, to get a five-point gap once more. A really important kick here for the youngster, Stephen Rotenbach, just to get that scoreboard ticking over again. And it almost looks like they're in panic mode at the moment, Gray College. Struck it well. Flags up. Another successful kick by Stephen Rotenbach. And a little bit more breathing space as they get their first points of the second half. Gray College 30, Paul Boys High 25. I must say, Brett, I'm really impressed with both kickers from both teams. They're on song today, really kicking well, and keeping their both teams in the game. Perfect kicking conditions, though, isn't it? Hardly a breath to speak of as Crick from the restart. Errors are just starting to creep in a little bit more. We didn't see, we saw controlled play in the first half. You wouldn't expect a player of the calibre of Andres Crick to spill that one. It wasn't a difficult one. Didn't have much pressure on him, but unfortunately, mistiming his jump there, knocking that ball on. It's a coach's nightmare that you just scored points and it gets started off with a with an error. So Paul Boys High will have an attacking scrum deep in Gray College half. Good scrum again. Oh, bit of pressure coming from Gray. The pass from Devet. On the loop is Gray, and he starts to step. A little backhanded pass finds a Paul Boys hand, fortunately. Now the loop comes to Charles Francois de Toy with the handoff and the strength. Well driven back by Gray though in defense. Setting it up again. Going right. Chos. Curtly Grain. Dante van der was running on, but he didn't get the pass he wanted. They'll come again. Try scorer Jonas. Ball wrenched free though in the tackle by Gray College. Oh, the ref has ruled it's a second one. knock forward. The first second one, one he calls Tion Stain. The first one was a wrench definitely by Gray College. So a chance for Gray College to relieve the pressure on their line. Just that did look like a dangerous tackle. Run, run, run the neck there. Coach! Gray need a solid scrum here, they're deep in their 22. ABC Rugby, solid scrum, back to their fly half. And they need to find a good touch finder. What a game of rugby we've seen here. Six try festival. Both sides have shown wonderful intent in moving the ball. Been enjoyed by the 7,500 who've come in. And they've got all they've expected for this mutual and federal premier to schools rugby derby. Turnover ball against the head for Paul Boys High, and immediately they use the width of the field trying to release Van Veik. This is Daniel Duplessis. Chance for Paul Boys High. They've never led in the match. Boschoff, very flat ball and lost by Paul Boys High. Perhaps just a little too flat, and the error made, and the turnover goes Gray's way. Handling the errors, Gray College, 8-5 up in that department. 
but there's a little bit flat there. Matthew LaRue knocking that ball on in, on contact. Second half possession is unbelievable. It's all it's all Paul Boy's heart at the moment. They really dominating possession and a bit of territory too. Now we saw the first half territory was 65-35 almost the way of grey. The match has turned around and it's loosened up the vocal cords of the visiting supporters. Well, they're getting some quality front forward ball at the moment. It's just bringing them back into the game and it looks like almost there's a slight bit of panic stations. Look at that change room. History, heritage, tradition. Unbelievable. Can you imagine one of those schoolboys walking in that change room and seeing just the, the history and the heritage of the school? I'd get, you know, it's, it's amazing for them. They'd get goosebumps, I'm sure. Now, to know there that the number 12 shares the jersey with so many others that have gone on to wear the national colours. The front rows have popped up. And Gray get the scrum, but that's starting to seem as if the home side are under scrum pressure. It definitely does look like that. Paul boys have got wind, wind in their cells at the moment and they're scrumming well. Look at that, great college World Cup re representatives. Seven of them at the last World Cup Five. wearing the Springbok rugby jersey. Let's go! <laughs> uh, a little bit of niggle starting to creep in as we get down to the pointy end of this match. Just five points in it. They trailed 20 points to nil to Paul Boys High, and at the break, 27-12. Second half has been all the visitors. Well, Thomas Rotoy and Derek Go! Gray applying some massive pressure there on the Gray College front row. Immediately, the front row pops up again. Gray come away. Crick, little backhand away. Oh, Sunder looked a late hit. It is a late hit. So, Gray will get the penalty. That was foolish from Paul Boisard, giving away a needless penalty. The number eight, uh, Charles-Francois Dutoy. Fulion, and just on that moment, a late hit, penalty given up the field. The big strike by E.W. Fulion, and look where Gray have gone. Just okay. because of a moment's madness by Charles-Francois de Toy. Oh, lacking a bit of discipline there, Charles-Francois de Toy, with a big late hit. But E.W. Fulion, what can you say about that touch? Touch, touch finder, fantastic. Great line-up position to set up a good maul. Maybe they're going to throw it off the top ball and unleash that, that elusive fullback of theirs, Fulion. Crick singing the calls. The new man, Kasper Ferry, takes. Down it comes to Devet Bezodenhoek, and they will cradle and they will maul. Use it once. The use it once call has come. Heinrich Sander wants to get his hands on it. But here it goes again as it gets secondary second, momentum. Second, second. Penalty advantage, sacking. Penalty advantage, but they won't need it because Gray are over. <laughs> The referee can't see the score held up and they will Seven. come back for Seven. that penalty Seven. advantage. Seven. JJ van der Spey is the man penalised, pulling down. The take and go immediately. Sunder enveloped by Paul Boy's high defence, but coming offside. Oh dear, are we going to go to a card? He's a side off, okay? Create discipline off. Yeah, you was not. Okay? Create discipline off for all in the area. Okay. Okay. Well, the referee, Tian Stein, no, clearly speaking to the Pink and Joe. to the captain there, Thomas Latoy, about their discipline. Pick and go again. Sunder infield, almost the repeat move. Still they have the ball though. Fulun wanting to get involved. Patience required by Gray here. This is an important phase of play in the outcome of the entire match. Good defense this by Paul Boys High, just preventing any pace to the ball. Sunder comes away to Duro. Paul defending well. Fulun gets involved. He with a step. Coming across is Van Veek with a tackle. Sander again as they try and keep it close. 
Gray battering away at the Paul Boys high line, but it looks like Dupassie has wrenched the ball free. What a turnover that is. How important will that be in the outcome of the entire match? Verse kicks downfield. Poor kick, though. Fulion with a chance to counter. He's got lots of space, lots of time. Still going. He's got strength as well. Flings the ball out to the right. It's turned over. Dante van der Merwe will hack it downfield. End-to-end -end stuff this. The chase is on. Keenan van Veek running back. Falling on it is Immelman. And he flings the ball infield. And Gray will come again. Vessels. The crowd are on their feet. Sunder comes away. Just outside the 22 of Gray College. Here's it. Rotenbach. Paul boys up very quickly. Gray just slowing things down. Everybody needs a chance to catch a breath. Driving through on Sunder again, puts him under pressure. He manages to get a kick away. It's an awkward one and it's found a bit of space, but it's found Daniel Duplessis out to Ferlin Verse with a little step. He's lost his footing. He's enveloped by Theo Ferreira as Paul Boys now. Maul is held up twice. They've lost possession at this phase. The user call. And again, it's turnover ball. That's the third time Paul when Mauling have had turnover ball. And it looks like we've got a touch judge intervention. Well, both sides throwing everything at it at the moment. Great College getting turned over deep in the 22. While they were in attack, Paul Boy's coming back. It's a bit of a seesaw battle at the moment. This game is really living up to a true derby style fashion. Premier into schools clash. Unbelievable. Well, let's see what the referee has to say. Hi. I'm going with your elbow and woman. Okay, lose it. Penalty 10 yellow. So the hard tackle has been penalised, and Paul Boys have a penalty in a kickable position. They might debate the merits of an earlier penalty option, but they've won the penalty through the high tackle on Ferlin Verse, who's left the field now. Has been replaced by Diervolt Nordia, but the man who has our attention is the Paul Boys half fly half, who in the silence could reduce the deficit to just two as the minutes remaining tick past the teen mark. Well, this is a really important kick. If he makes this, they'll be within two nail biting final minutes here we'll have. Stefan Goos, only one miss so far this afternoon, but the pressure mounts with every new one. Here's the strike. Up go the flags. The Paul boys are on their feet on the far side of the field and on the bench for that matter, as the gap is now just two. Well, it's really important in any level of rugby to have a kicker that can kick points. Stefan Goos is on song at the moment. His rhythm looks good. He's striking that ball fantastically. And Paul Boys within two at the moment. Rotenbach with the restart. Goes a low, flat one. Comfortably taken in by Matt LaRue. Devet is in there. They still want to run out of defence. Dangerous tactic, confident tactic. Grain has a go. Up the pop pass to Boshoff. They've already got out of trouble, but oh, just not protecting the ball well enough now. Could have been turned over. No, it hasn't. But Van der Spey is under pressure and has been robbed. So Gray have it. Bezaidenhout gains precious meters up towards the 22. Sunder. Kramer with a spin pass. Gray now exerting all the pressure. Vessels, Pretorius, and the whistle will go for the handling error. And Paul will have turnover ball, but deep in their own territory. Okay. 
Well, Paul Boy's taking a massive risk there, trying to play out of their 22 and getting turned over, just giving the ball back to Gray College, who set up a, a flurry of attacks there. But right at the end, they're try, unfortunately trying to force play and knocking that ball on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so you need to discipline up there and let's go from off you. Okay, so that's okay, it. So How you play it? It's been a lot of warnings given by Tion Stain for transgressions in the red zone. And then Paul Boy's getting another. <laughs> Replacement happening. In the grey ranks. Length when he mad. There's length. Devet Bazaar now looking like he's leaving, and Dylan Harlan has gone back onto the field. <laughs> My word, if your full has been in the wars today with heavily bandaged head. Fine. Pressure Go. scrum, defensive scrum for Paul Boys High. Devet. Oh, a little slow in decision making. And he gets enveloped. And he hasn't uh, done well. Off the play. And they take a quick one. You know, the advantage, not in. Low taking it on, and they still have the advantage. Kali Janssen van Furen oh, takes it on. Sander digging mm. in there. Desperate defense by Paul Boy's heart. Can they hold out as the minutes tick away? Keeping it close, great college. Sander, Vessels. He has a crack himself. Important tackle by Chaus. Sunder in there, quick release. Rotenbach with a bit of space, cut in field. Protecting it well at Grey College. Sunder. Duro, strong and direct. Sunder again. Away to Immelman, he's already got his name on the scoreboard. Not for a second time. Surely Grey must breach now. Vessels. Patience. Through. They go through the phases, almost getting up towards double figures. Surely now, out on the left, and in for Andrew Duplessis. Great college, have the cushion they want once again. Well, great college shows some great patience there. Running the ball down the line and a skip pass to the big loose head prop, Andrew Duplessis, diving over for a great try in the corner. Oh, he backed himself. Fantastic try, the boys ecstatic. Just keeping them in front. Now, this is a vitally important kick. Now, I suppose everyone has been today, but the margin is seven. And with minutes ticking away, just uh, single-figure minutes remaining, the conversion from the touchdown means Paul have to score twice. And have they got the time to do that? I have to agree with you. This is a massive kick for the youngster, Stephen Rottenbach. Left-footed kicker, wrong side of the field for a left-footed kicker, but he's been on song today. Strike is good. But the direction is not. So there's still hope yet for Paul Boys High. 35 28 points of entertainment. And Gray College supporters celebrating that try by Andrew Duplessis that could be the match clincher. Well, I tell you what, it, this game has really li lived up to its reputation. A typical Premier Inter Schools derby. A real seesaw battle the second half. What can no, Paul Boy's no, Boy's no. Heart pull out now? They've got to get their hands on the ball. They trail by seven. The draw is perhaps all they're hoping for now. Have they got time to score twice? Have they got time to score six, once? Six. Good consolidation by Gray. Back to Fulion. He'll six, whack four, it down six, into six. Paul Boy's territory. He finds Fundamerva, who's lucked, shown an inclination to run. Assessing his options, has he chosen the wrong one? Cut back into the forwards. Thumped by Kasper Ferry to the ground. Need to protect the ball. They haven't. Another penalty goes the way of Gray College. That could be a clinch up. A penalty at this time in kickable position. 
could put the game Gray's way. Huh? There's the penalty count, and Paul have certainly been punished in that uh, facet of the game. Also, though, Werner. Also, lower your nose. Well, E.W. Flune getting called up to go for a touch finder. And it's a great position to set up a driving mall and to continue putting pressure on Paul. What a game he's had. His head swathed in bandages now. He's been instrumental in many of the attacks of Grey College. He's been ever present this, this whole game. He's launched many counter attacks. He's been. He's been a great player for the for his first team side today. He's got speed, he's got hands, he's strong despite his wiry build. And now Gray just want to get the score that will clinch the match. They lead by seven. Vessels. Infield to Duro. A little knock-on though at a critical moment. It gives Paul Boys a glimmer of hope. His blood still soaking those bandages from the head wound. He'll have a headache in the morning, but he won't think a thing about it now. There's a game to be won as Gray confidently putting pressure. Good pressure, good pressure. And Paul Boys High right back on their own goal line. Oh, but they've won a penalty of Paul Boys High. Mercifully, they can relieve the pressure. You heard the question from Thomas de Toy, how much time? And the response was three minutes. Time for Boshoff to thump it down that far touch line and set up a line out. Not his best. Well, it's a funny scenario at the moment. Paul Boys High need this ball. Great college need to contest. So it's going to be an interesting line out here. Less than three minutes remain now. In front of the Great College School. His time running out for the Paul Boys High side. Duplessis, well done by LaRue, but pressure on Devet, and it's been turned over. This is Faree. Crick made the steal. The ball is loose on the ground, and away it goes to Paul Boys High. Hacked downfield by Keenan van Veik. But there was a knock by Gray College. Paul Boys oh, desperately important. need to get down into Gray territory. They just can't escape from this defensive danger zone and they're running out of time Andrews Crick making a fantastic steal they're forcing the turnover but unfortunately the ball going forward I just feel sometimes they're trying to force that play too much they're just trying to force it too much and maybe should go through another phase and be a bit more patient no alternative but to be creative from their own line and they go short side through Charles Francois de Toy. The little backhander to Van Veik. He will kick downfield. They've got the territory now, but how do they get the ball back from EW Fulion? He looks at his options and heads towards the near side touchline. Succeeds with one handoff. Cuts in field. Another wonderful run by Fulion. And uh, the little toe ahead immediately puts Paul Boys back under huge pressure. Back in their own 22. And he's gone to ground as close. Penalty goes the way of Gray College. First one off your feet. Eminently kickable. It'll wind down the clock, and a success will win the game for Gray College. Well, E.W. Filuna, talented player. I said in the beginning, he's got a sidestep like a lightning bolt. He's got a great hand off. Anything that any tackler that comes in high, you're going to get that big hand of yours in his in their face. Is that a fantastic game? Side step. Look at that handle. Bam! Straight into the defender's face. Steps inside. Great little grubber. The youngsters had a fab game this afternoon. Now he's run it back and gained meters on every time he's got the ball. The time he's been on the park. So, the kick to win the game. Stefan Rotenbach. He's had a good afternoon with the boot. Missed his last one from the far touch line. There's angle to contend with here. There's pressure to contend with. To win the Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools derby.
not a sound. To win the game. A poor kick, but it's eaten time away. There's the hooter. There's the final whistle. And what a game of rugby we've had here at Gray College. 27-12 they led at halftime, Gray College. They led 20 points to nil. Massive disappointment on those uh, young Paul boys <coughs> learners because their side came back into the game. They played with great character. It's been an outstanding game of rugby, a seven-try festival. But in the end, Great College outscored Paul Boys High by four tries to three and have won by 35 points to 28. Liberal entertainment here at Great College. In the end, it's the home side who've run out victors in this Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools derby in a hugely entertaining seven try encounter by 35 points to 28. There are the match stats. The possession at halftime was so much the way of Gray. Paul Boyce came banging it manfully. Let's go down to the presentation and join Tox van der Linde. Ja, thanks, Brett. Uh, the fan of the match uh, for Mutual and Federal today. Even if you're going to say it was ongelooflijk vandaag geweest. Well, thank you. It was a really hard match. Uh, the last two weeks, it's a hard match. It's a hard match. But after we did not have to go to the end, we didn't have to go to the end. It was not a very hard match. But we didn't have to go to the end. But the first time we were here, we were two times from the field of the blood. We came back and we had an outstanding match for Great College. Yes, I didn't have to play the first time. I didn't have to play the first time. But all the time I got, I had the talent. I had the ability to come back to the field. Natuurlijk, dat dijkslag al op die doellijn is drie wat David is al geweest als je neemt, maar dat dijkslag heeft gevoerd niet. Ja, ik was toch niet lekker bij al op die oomblik hier, maar als ik daar kon nog uitkomen, ik weet niet hoe niet, maar ik was daar. En baie dankie, baie geluk, hier weer ons vraag meneer Johan Squires om van Midian Federal, om weer prijs te rannig, baie geluk en welverdiend. Het is jammer op zo'n dag, laat een mens met een verloorkaptein met gesels, met Thomas de Toei. Thomas, 20 na 8, na 18 minuten, maar ongelooflijk terugwegpoging van jylle af. Ja, nee, kijk, dit is maar eenig van boys. Hy streef altyd al na om karakter te bouwen op die veld en ons het dit vandag weggewees. Op die einde 7 punte daar aan, wat het jy daar halftijd gesê? Wat het jy allemaal wil vir die afrug van jy gesê halftijd? Kijk, die belangrijkste ding wat ons moest doen is om die bal te hou. Dit is eenig wat Greg Collins was met ons weggevat het. En ek sê, as ons net meer dit gedoen het, so die punte telling anders gewees het. Maar ek wil vir jou sê, namens allemaal van Supersport en allemaal wonderlijke wedstrijd en die terugvechtboeging wat jy daar gewees het vandag, sterk die positioen voor en toe. Baie, baie dankie, wat heer het. En natuurlijk ons kaptein, die wenkaptein vandag, is lekker om jou te gesels, Marius Lou. Marius, 20-0 na 18 minuute. Het jy een bykie voet van die pedaal afgehaal, of het boys aan het bij jou beter gespeel? Ja, baie dankie oom. Ja, oom, ons het bykie begin nader aan te veel geskop en hulle meer tijd gegeen om terug te kom in die game, meer counter-attacks en baie, baie van hulle wings en jylle achter met goeie handen. En ek denk ons hulle bykie in die game gehou om bykie te veel en in verkeerde plekke te skop. Maris, jy en Ewe was natuurlijk af met bloed en dit maak een broem vir een span daarom terug te kom en toe jy weer op die veld is, toe die leiderskap weer daar. Ja, baie dankie om, nee, ek denk, dit is baie hard voor gewees, dit is kom ons al twee afgegaan het en wij sê dat boys al een baie sterk span is, maar ons het ons is blij om om deur te vat. Maris, dit is wonderlijk om saam met te gekeer die laatste twee dagen, so jy so by Great College, baie geluk en sterk die versioen voor en toe. Baie, baie dankie om. Well, what an entertaining day we've had here at Gray College. A wonderful game of first 15 rugby, 35 points to 28. Gray College prevailed in the end, having led, as you heard in Tox's presentation, by a massive 20 points to nil after the first quarter and a game fight back by this Paul Boys high side. Just wasn't enough. Plenty of rugby was played at other levels, though. You could see a very good win by Paul Boys High at the under-14 level. Under-15 and under-16 went the way of Gray College. And in the end, the nail-biter. And it's Gray College who prevailed at first 15 level by 35 points to 28.